It is not a race. I feel the need, the need for speed. Hey guys, I'm Drive with Cam, and today we're going to go on a drive with the Euro Cruises of Victoria to Walhalla. So we start at the service station at Longwery, and then we drive all the way up to the Thompson Dam. Now Thompson Dam's got some really nice pictures that you can take of your cars and all that sort of stuff. And then we, we snake through the roads, and we end up at a town called Walhalla. Now Walhalla, as far as the town goes, was the last town to get connected with power in Victoria. It's like the town that the world forgot. Really picturesque, but we're actually gonna find some really good food, we're gonna find some good coffee, and we're gonna go on some really cool roads. But and along the way, we're also gonna to chat to some of the Euro Cruisers guys to check out their cars, what have they've done, um, and, and how they've sort of modeled the car and tastefully of course but no nah, it's all good um and then um yeah so join us on the adventure join us on the drive let's go um, it is not a race um if you are not confident please do not push yourself it is not a race if you're not confident sit at the back i'll be sitting towards the back in the rocco you're more than welcome to follow me and we're just going to be cruising we want everyone to get home safely both vehicles and people alike So guys, if you've got a really nice car, and this is sort of what the channel's about, about enjoying your car and going on great drives and going great experiences, and also good coffee, food, all that sort of stuff. But if you've not done it already, jump into a Facebook group that's got a good car drive. Um, you'll get to meet a lot of like-minded sort of people. You get to just sort of check out their cars. But one of the things that I like when I catch up with a lot of car people <clears throat> is, to find out what sort of mods that's actually worked for their car so I can sort of get some ideas and inspiration of the sort of mods that I might want to do to my car. All right guys, so now it's time for the sponsored bit brought to you by Herd Alert. Now this is, a, this is a device that I've actually made for driving like this sort of stuff. Um, so what I'm looking for is um, any any detonation levels that have come up on the screen. I'm looking for um, also any bad fuel alerts. We fueled up at a country servo station not long ago and I just want to make sure that petrol I put in, it's going to be okay for the car. Um, all the other sensors and everything else, they look absolutely perfect. So it means that I get sort of the peace of mind. And if you've not seen the herd alert before, um, it's basically, it gives you insights as to, um, as far as the running of the car to make sure everything's running okay and we can sit back, we can relax and we can focus on our driving. So you guys, if you think that this is something that you might like in your car, you can head over to herdalert.shop and go and grab one.
Whoa, 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 whoa. Just left Nuji. We stopped at the train, um, allowed everyone to catch up and have a bit of a, a quick rest, and then we took the C465 on the, through some really tight twisties, so it was a good little bit of road, and now the road's just ended up just being nice and smooth cornering rather than tight and technical. Uh, really great scenery. Um, I think we're at top of the ridge line and we're heading towards Thompson Dam. Can't wait. nice around here. The roads were absolutely amazing. Nice, twisty roads, free-flowing, but like really good. Really, really cool. Anyway, we're going to uh, now jump in our cars and head to Walhalla for lunch. Let's go. All right, guys, so we've arrived at Walhalla and we're going to have a chat to some of the Euro cruisers to check out their cars that they've taken on this cruise. All right, okay, so we're standing in front of this Sirocco, so just introduce yourself. Hi, I'm Christy and I help run Euro Cruises Australia for the Victorian sector. Ah, oh, cool. All right, so tell us a little bit about your car, what it is and... Yeah, it's a 2014 Sirocco. Um, I've only had it a couple of weeks and this is my first big outing on it and wow does it go all right so what what things have what what thing if you only just bought it a little time ago yeah has there anything been done to it only a res delete and a service to make sure she's all mechanically healthy oh so what, what's on the shopping list what's not on the shopping list <laughs> <laughs> it's going to get eco tuned eventually so oh. we're gonna see how that plays out oh okay cool and how was the drive up here how did the car perform through the the, the twisties and and what was the what was the drive like I am so glad to be back into a uh, V-Dub again. A after, proper car. A proper car, yeah, after the Tesla. Um, it, not only does it have the sound, it's, it's just so much easier to handle and so much more fun. Um, to the point my daughter got a bit car sick, so I had to slow down. Oh, that's <laughs> not good news. That's not good news. But, but, but the cruise was nice. Oh, it was beautiful. Perfect day for it. We couldn't have planned it better if we tried. Yeah, fantastic. Thanks for your time. No. All right, guys, so I found this beautiful Golf R, and I've also found the driver and the owner, because that's what owners do. They drive their own cars. <laughs> Um, just introduce yourself. Hi, I'm Kenny. Um, I drive this um, 745 Golf R. I stage two tuned it with um, underground. So recently at this point I'm um, Bremo Brakes. So it's quite fun just driving up here. Oh cool, cool. So what, so what was the experience like driving through those roads? Um, it just allows me like a bit more braking, more grip. Everything was 
able to hold down more of the thing. Yeah. Like, it felt more fun actually. Now, of... you mentioned before that you've just got new brakes. So yeah. is this the first time you've had a chance to, what, what sort of brakes did you get? I get the, I went from the stock brake to Bremro's brake pads and rotors. So I did a full change. Oh, now. cool. And, and what's the difference like? Major difference, plus also getting a new flush of oil for able to high temperature brake thing. Yeah. Oh, cool. Yeah. So it'd be perfect for a day like today yeah. or an overkill. Yeah, especially with the heat and everything like that, you can handle it all the way through. Yep. So what? So what sort of mods have you done? Um. So, like, pretty much intake downpipe. Yep. Um. So far, that's it, and ECU and transmission. Now I did notice something, guys, though. You've got the carbon fibre mirror cap, so that always adds more horsepower on, doesn't it? Like, <laughs> yeah. That's what I did as well. Yeah. Like, they look cool. It looks nicer that way. Yeah, no. Well, this car's factory anyway, so... <laughs> <laughs> awesome. So what's on the list? What what things are you looking at uh, mod modifying? Uh, next up would be possibly putting sway bar. Yep. But the ultimate goal for this car my, is putting the Mark 8 diff. All right. To, oh, beautiful. To actually put the car to drift. Okay, drift so, mode. Yeah, so I want oh. this car to do a little bit slide a little bit more. All right, a bit more okay. fun, but All right. you know that's in the future. <laughs> yeah, no, that's right. Anyway, thanks for your time, man. Enjoy the cruise back. Thank you. Okay. All right, so we've just found this black R32, and it's one of the uh, the other Euro Cruisers members. Um, would you like to uh, just introduce yourself? Yeah. Yep. I'm Sebastian, I drive this 2009 Golf R32. Oh, what a beauty. What an absolute beauty. So, what sort of mods have you done? Uh, nothing at the moment. I had the car about two weeks now, so got a bit on the shopping list, but nothing done to it as of yet. Put new rims on it, yep. uh, but that's that's kind of it at the moment. Oh, it looks sweet. It's, it, it actually looks like it's in good condition. You looked yeah, after it. Yeah, happy with it. So, in good condition, great interior, you know, no marks on the leather. So, what I want to know, what does it drive like? fantastically to be honest what it seems to be a suspension issue with it but the power and the handling grip through corners is fantastic being an all-wheel drive car so don't have any issues as long as you, as long as the horn works right yeah, you know, yeah that's all you need and high beams yeah that's <laughs> and high beams absolutely so what's on the shopping list uh, I want to do a full Maxton setup, so diffuser, side skirts, and the front lip. Yeah. Uh, I do want to get it stage one tuned. Yeah, nice. Uh, I want to do an Ants cold air intake and a new rear sway bar. Oh, cool. Well. What did you what, what did you find the drive was like today, coming up through the twisty roads and? Yeah, it was beautiful. What were the roads the road, like? Yeah. The roads were surprisingly smooth, to be honest, uh, considering you know the area that we're in and just coming out of winter. So. No, very happy with it. Car drove beautifully. Beautiful yeah. day today, so no issues at all. No, nah, that's good. All right, but how how good's Walhalla? Like I've it's never been here before. Neither have I. This is my first time. It's a very pretty town. It's it, very quiet. And it's beautiful. It's sort of like cross between Sovereign Hill and you know something out of like New Zealand or somewhere. It's your happy medium between the two. Yeah, oh, it's gorgeous. Now nah, all very good. Happy with it, man. Thanks for coming onto the channel, and uh, let's cruise back. Yeah, sounds good. Cheers, man. Thank you. Cool. So we've just finished the drive to Walhalla. We went via the Thompson Dam. Um, we went along and showed you some of the Euro Cruisers guys, some of their cool cars, the road. And also when we got to Walhalla, we found that the dining options were a bit limited because we, we arrived there about 2.30 p.m. and the pub was just shutting their kitchen. So we went to a little cafe called Witchery. That was pretty cool. Probably the best toasted chicken sandwich I've had in my life, so that's really cool. But if you're driving there, guys, probably not a good idea to bring a big group. I reckon any more than 20 cars, you're gonna really struggle for parking. The only parking in Walhalla we found was there was only a, a couple of hands, a handfuls of spots on the main street. And then at the very end, there was, some, uh, uh, there was a parking lot of about 10 or so cars. So not good for huge groups but definitely well worth the drive. I reckon we'd probably give that a hurdle at score of about 7 out of 10 for the whole experience. So good roads, tight twisty roads, smooth flowing corners, really good. Not too many potholes, which is what we like, right? Um, and the food was pretty good. 
The fuel options are a little bit limited on this one, so you really need to fill up at Langwari, which is where we started. There's 98 fuel there, but for E85, I would probably give this one a bit of a miss or bring your own fuel because there's definitely no E85 options out here. But definitely fill up on the way to there. Um, we've spent about four or five hours in this whole journey, so um, it's definitely worthwhile and it's really great. Guys, so just remember, please, I hope you've enjoyed this video. Please subscribe, it will not cost you a cent, and it will help me buy the Lamborghini, which will be able to do amazing videos, and amazing drives, and all that sort of stuff. Can, cannot wait. Um, so guys, just please remember to also check out our Facebook, um, where we will be posting up drives that you guys can come onto. And also in the description, we'll post a few links of the Google Maps, so you guys can do this drive yourself, or you can bring a few friends Long, or if you've got a, a car group on Facebook or anything like that, it's a really great experience. Um, so that's it from me. Um, up here, there's probably a link for the Chasers On, and then down the bottom here, there's also a link for YouTube. And guys, don't forget, there's also a link in inside the comments um, for the Herd Alert store. So if you feel like you'd like to check one of those out and see a little bit more about the Herd Alert, um, definitely go and check that out. Until next time, catch you later.